for strange men. So why must I pay Lobola if there's no virginity if you were giving other men for free before I came along? Why is it that other men could have sex with you for free? Why is it that men could give you children for free and then I must come and pay Lobola? What am I paying the Lobola for? Guys, you've got to ask questions. You as Africans, you're the few people who don't ask questions about the goods and services that you're receiving. What service, what good are you buying in a marriage by paying Lobola? If you're paying for sex, yet she's been giving it to 25 other men before you for free, why are you paying for it? How come everybody else is too special not to pay for it, but you are the idiot who has to pay for it? How come all these other guys slept with her for free? For a bottle of coke? For, for, for chicken liquor? But you must pay $15,000. $15,000 in Lobol. You must pay 20 cows. But all the other guys that came before you had it for free. All the other guys that came in a one night stand that came once off had it for free. But you must pay for it. Then you pay $25,000 in Robola. Then you must buy a car. Then you must buy a house. Then you must take it to Paris. Then you must take it to London. Then you must take it to New York for pussy. Ay, guys, you guys are stupid. No wonder these women are cheating on you. No wonder you have lost it. You take it to London so that you can sleep with her. You take it to Paris so that you can sleep with her. You buy a Mercedes Benz so that you can sleep with her. But Jimmy down the road just hit it once in a one night and he was gone for free. We've got to start questioning what are we paying Lobola for? Why do we pay for our wives? Then you say, no, it's because she's going to give me a baby and she's going to take care of my baby. Well, a lot of the girls that you are marrying have already got babies from other men who didn't pay Lobola. They're already taking care of children from other men who didn't pay Lobola. So you clowns, and I'm saying the clowns to you guys. You've got to start questioning. What are you paying for? In Zimbabwe, Lobola is $15,000. You're paying for what? She can't cook. She's terrible in bed. She doesn't sweep. She's got rights. You cook for her. But you pay Lobola. You buy a house. You buy a car. What are you paying for? What are you paying for? Then in your house, she's cheating, she's sleeping with other men, she has ladies' night out, she goes out and doesn't come home, she comes back home at 3 in the morning. What are you paying Lobola for? No wonder they're cheating on you guys. You're not thinking. You're talking like women. A lot of you men, you're no longer alpha males. Your reasoning is pussified. This is the problem. There's no more men. You have balls, but you do not, you're not men. You're reasoning like you've got a vagina. You can't have standards. You can't tell your wife, this is the wife that I want. This is what goes on in my house. You do not sleep out in my house. There's no ladies' night out in my house. I want a virgin in my house. Nothing. You've got no rules. You just let the woman tell you what to do. Now you men are now saying, if I'm not a virgin, I don't need a virgin. But you're paying Lobola $15,000 $15, to marry a woman. But she's telling you what to say. She's telling you how to think. She's telling you what she must be. So what are you paying for? You've got to ask yourself, what's the Lobola for? Because everybody who came before you had everything that you're going to have in the marriage. So what are you paying the Lobola for? If others had it for free, why can't you have it for free? Ah, guys. <laughs>